a uh, couple of niggas that I was I was close with. Nobody ever really heard any of my beats until like three years ago. Okay. That's crazy, bro. I didn't know. See, I didn't even see you just you just broke down a lot of shit to me right there. I just learned a lot about Phoenix right now. That, yeah, that's crazy. And I didn't know that the Mexicans was running the music scene. So it yeah. kind of explains why the trap sound is is heavy out there. Yeah, they they definitely they they heavy out here for sure. That's crazy. That's what's up. I appreciate that information right there. So yeah. yo, when when did when did you fall in love with music? Shit, I've been I've been uh, a musician um shit as far as I can remember. Um I mean, not to be dramatic, but some of my first some of my first memories are like hearing music. Like mm. The same, the same, you know, the, the normal person would remember seeing their moms for the first time or, yeah. you know what I'm saying, going to the fucking zoo and shit. Like, yeah. Remember, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, 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 basic shit. Right, like, <laughs> I, I, right, I remember, like, <laughs> piano notes and shit like that being Got like, you. my first memories. And, uh, you know, my, my family is uh, heavy, in, or my family was heavy into the church. Um, You know what I'm saying? So the only outlet that I could do to um, to kind of express myself musically was to it was to become a musician in the church. Uh, so that's where I started. I mean, that was a great outlet, too. You know what I yeah. mean? Yeah, it was. Uh, I got to sit next to... <laughs> I mean, I started off playing the guitar and uh, I had my Uncle Charles right there and my cousin Freddie, who just passed away last year. Rest in peace. R.I.P., yeah. Um and they were both great musicians and i would just i would spend a lot of my time just really sitting there just watching them soaking and, it uh, in yeah soaking it in and then i play a couple of notes to blend in to make it look like i'm doing some shit <laughs> you know what i'm saying got you got you <laughs> <laughs> and i did that i did that for like 10 years right i did that for like 10 years and uh eventually i wanted to get into djing um, okay but back then, you know, equipment was like, yeah, that, that shit was not cheap, especially. Oh, no, not at all. Right yes, now. you're so, right. So, and my pops, he would never, you know, he would never buy me shit like that because he wasn't into to hip hop. He wanted me to focus all my musical attention into the church. Mm. Um, so one day, uh, my bro, he comes home with this uh, with this disc with Fruity Loops on it. I didn't Ooh, know what okay. The fuck okay. it was. I don't know what the fuck it was. He has the disc, and then he has two beats that he made. The beats was fucking fire. Like I was like, wow. Like I was just mind blown. Got you. Shout out to my bro Bish. He's also in the umbrella. Um, we uh we snuck the the, the program on the computer because we wasn't allowed to to download shit onto the computer. Got you. And, Got uh, you. And when my parents was, was gone, I would, you know what I mean, jump yeah, yeah. off the computer yeah, yeah, yeah. and yeah. fuck around and make some shit, some weak ass <laughs> shit, real quick. Um, and uh, then I took it to my man A one because he had a computer at home that he could actually use. And my other boy Gary from Bosnia, and uh, we downloaded on his computer, and that's when I really started making stuff like every day because I would be at his crib and we was allowed to make shit. And uh, man, I just started getting good really, really fast. Got you. Well, that you already had the music side already implanted in, in the soul. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> once you started, once you found your avenue in, in beat making, you were like, "Oh, nah, I'm, I'm gonna take over with this." Yeah, and that's how it was. It was like you know, in the beginning, I just wanted to be around music, mm -hmm. be around great musicians. And then I kind of got into the DJ and thing. I said, "Hey, man, this is too damn expensive. I can't. Be, I, I'm only fucking 14. I can't be carrying around fucking crates or records crates everywhere. <laughs> big ass fucking turntables. And and when he brought the Fruity Loops, it was like, wow, this is like a this is like a combination of both worlds. And uh, and obviously, way more convenient than than trying to be a DJ. So 